This is Boomer Life on CIL 650. George Gordon with you on CIL 650 Boomer Life. Today we're talking with the good people from Naturopathic, uh, the uh, Integrative Naturopathic Medical Center, uh, naturopathic physicians, Dr. Eric Posen and Dr. Larry Chen. We were talking in our last segment about the, uh, uh, the use of ozone in treatments and what it can do to uh, make the body work better. Uh, and, and Larry, uh, it covers a pretty wide gamut of what can be treated. Yeah, the bottom line is that, you know, at our center, the whole concept is how do we keep the body from aging? But many people consider aging actually something we were resigned to. When you hit 60, you're done, or 65, you're done. Well, we're boomers. We want to live long. We want to be vital. That's a key thing, right? I got into this because of, I, I'm, I'm in my 60s as well, so we want to keep ourselves healthy and vital. Now, how do you do that? Well, oxygen is the key, right? Get your body oxygenated. And, and process that well. And so we look at hormone therapy as one part of it, diet is the other part, and we really want to look at how can we make the body detoxify so that we can utilize oxygen better as well. So those are the key things about keeping our bodies healthy. And the other part is, what do we do in terms of degenerative diseases like cancer? And cancer loves low oxygen situations, and they love acidity. So we want to get the body less acidic which diet changes, and oxygen and ozone helps that tremendously. So can, we have many therapies in our clinic that utilize the ozone therapies that help with cancer therapies as well, and we get great results with that too. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if we you start to consider all the things that ozone touches on, it's a litany of things that people are wandering around with and have been living with for years. Um, for instance, it's effective in coronary artery disease and cardiovascular illness. It's effective in macular degeneration. And how many of us are experiencing that as we get older? Um, Larry was mentioning it in terms of uh, cancer therapy. It's not a primary cancer therapy. It's a wonderful preventative therapy to keep you from hopefully not experiencing cancer because it helps cells utilize oxygen and so that you don't go into that oxidative stress we were mentioning. But if you were unfortunately given that diagnosis of cancer and undergoing cancer therapy, you could also use ozone therapy in conjunction with it. Why? Because it enhances the effectiveness of the chemotherapy and the radiation therapy and reduces side effects from them. So it's got documented results and all that. As a matter of fact, if I went through, uh, there's an international um, college uh, that's associated with ozone uh, therapy in the world. And the reason is it's been around for an, an awfully long time. It started getting used in Europe in the mid-1800s. It had a huge... Uh, effect in, or rather had a huge uh, s resurgence during World War I because it was one of the most primary therapies used with infections and gangrene. It is amazing in clearing, uh, and so people who have uh, diabetic ulcers, for instance, and are looking at surgery, you could go through ozone therapy where you do a bagging of the limb and you s expose the, uh, the wound to ozone, and over a concentrated period of time it's going to help that tissue heal. So that's a pretty phenomenal thing. It deals with uh, uh, chronic infections, and we have very few things for dealing with chronic infections. So for people who have been plagued with chronic herpes infections, uh, it, this is going to help your body utilize what you have to be able to fight it back and reduce your exposure and constant um, re exacerbations of the problem. Uh, chronic fatigue, who doesn't have that? Well, it's all about oxygen utilization. Skin uh, infections, such as uh, chronic uh, fungal infections in the nails or things that you might occur on the skin, again, responsive to ozone. Interstitial cystitis, a plaguing horrible condition that's going to affect uh, bladder uh, problems, um, also responsive to ozone. So there isn't much that it can't be helpful for. But as I mentioned before, it is not the only thing you have to do. You have to do other things to support your system to be able to utilize it. So that's the critical part of it and how you should think of it. Well, this has been an amazing discussion. The, the whole topic of uh, healthy aging. Uh, and, and if you can get started at a, at a younger 
it, when you're when you're a young person, you can prevent a lot of bad things that can happen later. But if you're a boomer and you're not 40 or 50 or maybe 60 anymore, there are still things that you can do to improve your quality of health. Uh, understanding the processes and coming into the center uh, and having uh, a good talk with somebody who's going to listen to you. Is that the most important part? If, if you can get somebody talking about uh, what's wrong with them, starts, you too will, will find the answer. Starts with that, for sure. Listening and finding out what, what, what they need, what their story is. All right. And most of uh, what we're talking about today, uh, we can learn more at integrative.ca. Absolutely. We encourage you to go to the site. You will find lots of information that is going to pertain to you, your family, uh, how you can have a shot at making your life better, and it's not that complicated. We've been talking to naturopathic physicians Dr. Eric Posen and Dr. Larry Chan with the Integrative Naturopathic Medical Center. Uh, you've been listening to Boomer Life on CIL 650.